First of all, we're not alone in the universe. We're not alone because there's microbes on Venus. <laughs> That's life. They've told us we found life on Venus. We found life in we found life in space. First time we've done it, isn't it? So uh, and and even still, then you got to look at it, and it's a stinky gas that's floating above Venus that could be a sign of alien life. A stinky gas. Now we all know that a stinky gas shows a sign of life in many people's houses. Usually, it's uh, somebody, some couch potato, or the dog in his kennel, or it's the dead relative that you haven't that hasn't answered his phone for three months. <laughs> Who knows? But. Uh, um, all I'm saying is that uh, it's not as exciting as finding a fucking bugger-eyed creature that's coming to suck your brains out and chasing you, uh, chasing you around Venus as soon as it's spotted your little. Uh, well, we've done it from a distance, haven't we? I don't think we've sent any any machinery down there, but I want to see proper. I want to see proper aliens in the fucking flesh. I want it to be like Star Trek, you know, on on steroids. I want it to fucking. Oh, I just want to. I want to hang about in that bar on Star Wars. I want to hang about in that bar on Star Wars. We're the fucking aliens playing the instruments. Everybody's different from every different walk of life, or walk. Of, yeah, walk of life. Planet. Every different planet. That is the bar to go to. I tell you what, it wouldn't be fucking. It wouldn't be easy to get a table in there. In um, but saying that, a lot of people wouldn't go. A lot of people are too scared. I think I believe. I, I belong in that bar. <laughs> I think I'd, I, all the oddities. My kind of people. It's almost like a, a, an alien version of Weatherspoons.